What's up guys? It's Bobby here with Bobber Wolf Fishing. Got the wolf out here today with us. Today we're doing some crawfishing out on the Trask River up here in Tillamook, Oregon. We got our crawfish traps. We got some freshly caught pink salmon. We're gonna check these out. The river is absolutely littered. We checked a couple salmon heads out to just kind of chum the area to see if we could see any crawfish and they're, they're absolutely already covered in the crawfish. So uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have a pretty awesome little boil tonight. And uh, hopefully we can get our limit and have a good old time tonight. But yeah, thanks for coming along and let's catch some crawfish. So, all right, so we're just about to check out our first trap. There's already a whole bunch on the salmon head we just checked out. Here we go. Boom. Just like that. And we just throw it to shore and now we wait. And we'll give it about an hour, maybe 30 minutes. But there's many that's here, we probably don't even need to wait that long. Absolutely beautiful out here though. We got this beautiful little creek that runs up across the road. It's super nice and easy to get to where we're at. There's parking really close nearby. Actually, hey guys, check this out. I can already see some crawfish. Look at them. Look at them all. Oh yeah, they're going to come inside my trap here. Let's get them. So we're going to check our trap out. I think somewhere out in there. Let's do it. Enjoying. All right, guys. So we're walking up on on the few pieces of salmon heads that we checked out, and a couple pieces of skin. They are absolutely covered in crawfish right now. Uh, we're gonna see how close we can get. See if we can actually get a couple of these by hand. But there are at least 20 crawfish just mowing down. On these little pieces right there. And there's a co wow, that one piece is literally completely covered in crawfish. I don't know if you guys can see this, but that is insane. Let's let's put the underwater cover on. We'll get some underwater here. Oh my god, there's at least 20 crawfish in this trap, guys. Ha ha ha! Okay, so we pulled our first trap. Holy moly, I told you guys this place was chock full of them. Let's take a look at this. Absolutely packed. Today is gonna be an awesome day. All right, guys, so we got the missus out here with me. She's gonna pull in our second trap of the day. Our third trap, excuse me. But uh, pull in hard, sweetheart. Don't stop pulling. Pull fast, pull fast, fast, fast. Pull it in all the way. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Lift it up out of the water. Is there any in there? 
two? Yeah, there's two. Just two. There's a decent sized one in there. All right, guys, we got some. Well, I almost fell in and lost the flip-flop while doing it, but we got another one. And look at that monster there. That is a big boy. Let's get this, uh, let's get this out and take a look at him. I think that is the biggest crawfish we've had today. Got some underwater footage. Hopefully that worked out pretty nicely. Let's get this big guy. Woo! Oh man, look at that. Hell yeah. All right guys, this has been an hour. We're gonna pull our crawfish trap. It's the one with the camera on it, so hopefully we got some good underwater footage. But uh, we've been going around catching them by hand. Our bucket is almost full. So uh, let's get this last one in and see how many we get. And we'll pull the other two barrel traps and we'll call it a day. We got another, got about seven or eight in there. Oh, we got one with some massive claws. Hell yeah, look at this one. Look at that one there, guys. It's a big boy. I don't think it's contender in the big claw contest, but he's definitely a big boy. Oh yeah, what a big day. All right, so guys, you can see there's a whole bunch hanging on the outside because the bait's kind of drifted out. Megumi's going to try to pull it in. All right, sweetheart, pull it in as quick as you can. Oh, no. I don't think we got uh, any. <laughs> oh, Dang just bait. one? Uh, Is there no, one? No, no. Nothing? No, oh, well. Nothing. Well, here. Let's uh, here, pull that up for a second so I can get this up. This is just some skin from some salmon we caught. We'll chuck it back in there. Give them something to munch on while we can't, we're gone. Bye-bye. We'll come back for those in another day. There's a whole bunch of them right there. My word. Do you love crawfishing? Bea, do you love crawfishing? Do you love crawfishing? Oh. Yeah. Sit. Sit. Alright guys, so we're calling it a day. The missus and I had a great time today. And now, check this out. Heck yeah. That is a full bucket. That's a good... I'd say at least five pounds of crawfish right there. Heck yeah guys. Craster traps by far outcaught any of the other traps we had today. Fresh pink salmon I caught on Wednesday was the bait I was using and it worked absolutely phenomenal. The, the pieces of bait that we still have out here still have crawfish on it. Uh, next time though, I don't recommend chucking out pieces of salmon to chum. Uh, th that was just me trying to see if they were here, but it ended up a lot of them just flocked to that one piece and didn't go over to the trap so we had to pull those out and I had to dive down and get myself a little bit wet but man today was so awesome thanks for the awesome traps Craster hopefully we can uh, have a good another time on the way home we're gonna definitely stop back here before we leave Oregon and head back up to Washington so thanks for coming along guys Yeah, that looks 
looks good. Crawfish, corn, potatoes, garlic, onions, can't go wrong. Homemade unagi sushi. We got some ro homemade rockfish mm. sushi. We got the crab mm. for days. Some more mm. grilled rockfish. That's what I do with these sometimes. And a crawfish boil. Boil your crawfish. That's how we do it, boys. And then